Hey everyone, so this is a video response to the video that I just recently posted entitled Apple Airport Extreme. It's a video where I set up a wireless in network using two hard drives and a printer and a USB hub uh, using the, the, the USB feature included in Apple's Airport Extreme. Uh, I got some messages from some users asking me how did I set it up. Now I originally omitted that step or I omitted that footage from my video that I previously posted simply because I didn't want the video to get too long and I didn't want to bore everybody with you know the ins and outs. I just wanted to know I just wanted to show that it could be done and that's what I was originally looking for on YouTube so and everyone else, you know, they had these crazy unboxing videos. That was the whole point of the last video. I did hear someone mention in one of the YouTube videos that the data transfer rate for the hard drives using the Airport Extreme is questionable. Now, I got to tell you that I agree with him simply because, you know, it is questionable. You know, it would be faster to to set up an external hard drive on another computer on a network and just use that but you know how many people have extra computers just sitting around I don't I'm not rich yet so still working on it when I do get rich I'll have computers and I'll set up external hard drives I'll have a computer for external hard drives and I'll just do that one day maybe sure but till then I'll show you the setup that I have, uh, it's a little bit of a mess. I'm going to go ahead and warn you guys. I'm going to actually break it down and actually show you how to set up the hard, hardware side of it. And when we're done, it's just going to be a big spaghetti mess of cables. So we'll, we'll let's go on to that now. Okay, so here we go. This is everything that we're going to need. Again, just to reiterate from the last video. I have uh, the modem, cables, hard drive one cables, hard drive 2, cables, USB hub, cables, the Airport Extreme, cables, and printer, and cables. Notice that everything has several cables, so this is going to get a bit messy. And I also would recommend a power strip because most outlets only have two plugs and one I'm using for a lamp. So anyway, I'm going to start out with okay so first thing we need is a connection to the internet so the first thing I'm going to set up is the modem I'm going to take the modem cable and plug it into the outlet I try to keep twisty ties and every time I get a twisty tie I save it because uh, I don't like cables everywhere so I'm going to plug in the modem to the internet connection easy Green cable, green modem, and the modem's power cable into the power strip. And before I do that, I should plug in the power strip. Make sure I can get power to the modem, or I can power to all the units that I'm about to plug in here. Power strip has power. The modem has power. Oh, gotta plug it in. Actually, plug it in. I'm gonna make sure you guys can see me. initializing or booting up and what I'm gonna do now we need the internet connection to our router and so we can share the internet connection between different computers and actually set up the wireless network and for that you're gonna need an Ethernet cable and here's one that came with the modem it works just fine and I'm going to plug in the internet cable into the WAN output of the 
router. All these other outputs are for computers that you would want to set up and USB ports here and uh, power ports here. So that's just plugged in just for whenever I give the Airport Extreme power. Again, twisty ties, just to try to minimize the mess that this is going to be. This is still going to be pretty messy. So I'm going to plug in the Airport Extreme, give the Airport Extreme power. That's going to take a second to boot up. Airport Extreme has power. All right. I'm going to move those to the side because I no longer need those. And the Airport Extreme will flash green when it is ready. It has power and it has internet. And it's green. Okay. So the Airport Extreme. Okay. It's amber again. We'll wait on that. Now, while we're waiting on that, we're going to set up all of the... We're going to set up the two hard drives in the printer. So to do that, we're going to start out with hard drive number one. Hard drive number one needs power, so... Power. For hard drive one. Connect the power. Connect the hard drive one to the Airport Extreme. You know, normally someone would just connect the USB output from the router into the USB input for the Airport Extreme. But since I'm going to use several USB devices, I'm going to connect the hard drive to the USB hub. Now, for the USB hub to work, the USB hub is going to need power. So I'm going to go and uh, set up that USB hub needs power and now I can hook the hard drive up, the hard drive's USB to the USB hub. Alright, now the Airport Extreme is ready. Is boot up completely, but still not quite ready for it yet, which is fine. Okay. Router, USB hub. All right. And now I can connect hard drive two to the USB hub. To do that, hard drive 2 needs power. Of course, more cables. I uh, wish there was a less messy way to do this. So, I guess I should have just unraveled it, but I'm wasting time. Let's give the hard drive to power. Should turn on. Make sure the cables are tight. Sometimes hard drives don't like to turn on unless you have it plugged in USB. Let's try that. USB output from the hard drive to the USB input onto the hub. There you go. Now for the printer. The printer needs power. Okay. 
we have printer, all its cables, and of course, printer paper. So, let's plug in the power for the printer. Okay, the twisty ties are not helping. But you gotta give me credit for trying. Printer. Power. And the USB output from the printer goes into the USB input to the USB hub. Out. USB input. You wanna uh -huh. know what people now to connect all these devices onto the network. I need one last cable, and that would be the USB cable to connect the USB hub from the USB hub to the airport extreme. And that would go like so. There we go.